guys and a very welcome to this update video on this hybrid tank that I bought used for I think it's now three weeks ago or something and uh, now finally I have it in the end position here <laughs> so it is now standing where my old water heater used to be standing and it is now standing a little to the left from your side so I still have hot water in the house here and I mean now when I will start the plumbing here it will easily take two or three days to pull this off and if I do that without any hot water in the house here my family will be uh, pretty crazy on me and it will be really stressful if so. So now I can do this peacefully and uh, yeah, as I said it's just an update video what I have done so far so let's start to just take a look at all the stuff that I have bought to uh, pull this off here so. Let's take a look at that and uh, as always, very welcome of course. So first of all, here are some pipes. This is uh, some meters of um, 28 millimeters copper pipes and some meters of 22 millimeter copper pipes. And they are extremely expensive. And we also have those connectors here. And you can see that I have bought that type that will be pressed. Most of them anyway. I have some other ones here that I have ordered just because uh, it can be good to have some connectors movable or removable. And here are the connectors for the elements. Some extra... I don't know the name for it, but you see what it is. So I bought this for my uh, circulation pumps that I uh, had when I bought this tank. The uh, previous owner sent me his uh, circulation pumps and everything. So um, I just bought those rings so I can uh, connect it back together again because those rings and uh, nuts were, were missing. So yeah, 28 millimeter here and uh, 22 millimeter over here and here are two pressure relief valves i hope i never have to use them but they will be installed i maybe just use one of them and here is a mixer that will mix the hot water with some cold water so i don't burn my hands There it is. So it will sense the temperature of the incoming water and mix it with uh, some cold water. So it will be around 60 degrees or 50 degrees, whatever I want to set it on. And then we have this Ladomat here. So what this does is that it will uh, sense when I am starting my uh, fire stove and uh, it will then start to circulate the water inside of the stove and then when uh, the temperature is right first then it will start to throw out the uh, hot water to the tank and uh, it will also make sure that it will never send in just cold water into the tank it, it will always mix that intake water with some heated water so we will have an even temperature in the um, stove so we don't uh, have a lot of uh, moisture and uh, then some corrosion in the bottom of the, uh, the stove. Uh, this is mostly used for maybe some bigger systems but uh, this is what I ordered so I think that this can be good and this will be fitted pretty close to the to the tank somewhere around here on that side because you have the outlet and the inlet uh, to my stub in the bottom and in the very top here so uh, it should not be installed together with the stub itself so let's go in to this area here by the way you can see that i had to remove the door and uh, <laughs> they had also installed this when uh, uh, well, before they uh, made the concrete here, so I was not able to to remove <laughs> the door, so I had to sew it up here. But anyway, it's not so important how it looks down here. 
So here is the water heater and uh, here's the pipes from my wooden stove and uh, over there you can see there you can see the pipes for the or to the elements so they are 28 millimeters and those uh, pipes here are uh, just cold and hot water to my bathroom that I built for a couple of years ago so it will be good to even change those pipes out and I have to be careful here because this is uh, at the neat here in the, in the roof so it's uh, a kind of a asbestos uh, uh, sheets I don't want to move them or remove them they have to be here and I will be extremely careful so I don't uh, crack them or anything so we have a lot of asbestos dust here because I don't want that so here's the place where my hybrid tank that is over there will stand later on when everything is finished here so the work for today is to have this tank up to this area here and I will then try to connect the pipes here again so I will have a perfect working system during the installation of the tank You can see all that messy stuff. I will try to go in some pipes and see if we can get this out. Because this will take like forever. So now I have a great flow here, and I am expecting this to be empty in just uh, around 10 minutes or something. It's also starting to be a lot cleaner. So, there we have it. So I will install this end first. Snug it up here, like so. <laughs> and 
it fits just perfectly. I wonder if it's luck or if I am a professional on this. <laughs> Oh, so here we are. Finally, the tank is on the final position. I am super happy with it. And uh, I have to say that it was a lot of work actually. But now I can start to do all the fun stuff. So I will uh, connect all the connectors and all the pipes. Uh, I have to create those first, of course. And then I also have this big expansion tank here because in the future I maybe will expand the whole system here with another tank or maybe two tanks. Therefore I have that big expansion tank to everything here. So it's better to have a big one now so I don't have to change that out later if I am going to do this stuff. Uh, however, thank you so much guys for watching this one and I really hope now that I see you next time. Take care, guys, and goodbye.